Today, we're speaking with Ajay Freeze, who just released his first debut EP on October 8th. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, you're known for your roles on TV like Lost in Space, Riverdale, the film Riot Girls, and now you're releasing a debut album called Light a Match, Then Run Today. What can fans expect of this EP? Uh, you know, it's a, it's genre-wise, it's kind of a mix of alternative folk, indie, pop, and with a bit of rock. And I just poured my heart into this album and I really tried to keep it as authentic and heartfelt as possible. So I hope you can join me on that journey by listening. What was your journey like for switching over from acting to making your own music? You know, I've actually always been super musically inclined. Like as a baby, I would always be humming and and I would actually walk around the house with like these chopsticks and I would pretend to conduct when I was around three or four. And so like, like some kids are always doodling, I'm, I was always humming. And so I've just kind of been writing songs for the past decade. Um, and so it wasn't so much of a transition, but um, yeah, it's, it's really nice to be able to focus on both. Was there an inspiration for this EP that you'd like to share? Well, this EP is actually a collection of some of my favorite songs I've written over the past 10 years. And so the the oldest song on the EP is called Blackberry. That's track number one that's out right now. And um, that I wrote in grade eight after I accidentally set fire to a hill behind my house um, in middle school. And um, yeah, I was just, no one got hurt, luckily. And the the firefighters arrived pretty quickly, but the intensity of it all left middle school me, I, I guess, pretty scarred for a few months. And so that's what Blackberry is about. And then a lot of the other songs, given my age, you know, I, I've, I think a common theme has been love found and love lost. And so that's what a lot of those songs are about. Would you be able to give us a little bit more detail on what's all involved with this EP? Like how many songs are going to be on there? Yes, absolutely. So there's six tracks. I recorded almost all of them in New York City with a Grammy nominated producer Everett Bradley, who's currently one of the members of Bon Jovi. Um, and they all have live musicians playing on all the tracks, which is just such a treat. Uh, we had Alex Nolan, who's the lead guitarist for Cindy Lauper, Shelton Gray, who's played bass for the Black Eyed Peas. And so, yeah, it was just a huge treat to make. Is there a message to your fans and listeners after listening to this EP that you're hoping that they'll get from this? Mm. I think one of them is just being honest and authentic um, and raw and just sharing yourself, I guess. And like we were talking about earlier, from you switching over from acting to making your own music, is there something you've learned from like, this experience and any future plans you have now? Hmm. <laughs> I guess that it's a, it's a, it's, it's a process and uh, it takes time and you just trust the process. And I mean, um, I released my debut single back in January and it's still, uh, the number of daily streams is still increasing on it, you know? And so it's like, if, if your song doesn't, doesn't, you know, get those so many streams overnight, it doesn't mean it's, it's not going to in the future. It doesn't mean you're not going to in the future. It's, it's step by step, you know, building fans along the way slowly. And with your acting career, are you expecting to see that same support that you get for your acting with this newest debut EP? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to expect, actually. It's, it's my first EP. I actually have a, a metal printout of it right here. I designed the cover art. Uh, that's my handwriting from my notebook. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I just, I'm just so happy to have it out finally. And I, I, I worked so hard on these songs and I hope some people connect with them. Is there anything else you'd like to share about this and where people can access it? Well, the EP is out on all streaming services. Uh, we got two music videos coming out later this month, including one that is directed by someone who a lot of my acting fans know because I act with them. And it's a, yeah, light a match, then run. It's available everywhere now. Perfect. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us today, Ajay. Thank you so much. It's like I'm standing in the pouring rain. I'm hoping you don't feel the same. I'm hoping you don't feel the same. Oh, I'm hoping you don't feel the same.